Happy Saturday, guys. We are taking a drive to Super Fan Con. I'm super excited. We're going to deep heart of Miami. Um, and hopefully we get to finally meet Susanna Malik. She is one of the stars from Boba Fett and The Mandalorian. She plays one of the Jawas. Um, and I just can't wait to see some of the vendors that are gonna be out there and hopefully it's gonna be a good show. So stay tuned, let's take this long drive. All right guys, so we are now getting a super fan con and look at this beautiful yeah, droid. Uh, checked out my buddy Humpty's table and he had these awesome custom made figures, also figures that he's got from CAS. And one thing that I was really in shock to see was these prototype Funko Pops from the show The Office. I have never seen a prototype before. Now they did have collectors here with an abundance of lounge fly bags. And look at that prototype Boba Fett figure. The one thing I was super excited to see was, and in person, was the Freddy Funko Darth Maul. It's like $2,100. Uh, my buddies Dave had this awesome collection and this humongous wall of comic books. It was insane. Um, some of the rare keys that you could never find at a show, these guys had it. Definitely check it. Hey everyone, so we are here live with Susanna Malik. She is from The Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett. Now, Susanna, I just want to ask, what was it like being in Star Wars? It, it's, you know, everybody always says, you know, that's like a dream come true working on Star Wars. Star Wars, they're, they make you feel like family. I love being on Star Wars because it's like they recycle me on the, all the different creatures that I play. <laughs> so, I mean, it's been a pleasure. I've been on since Mando 1 and been on Mando 2, Mando 3, and on Boba Fett. And it's just... The excitement, even the food that they feed me to make me happy is they feed me. You know what I'm saying? And they got the best food, you know, on the set. You can't beat anything different than being on the set and having the great food. Um, but yeah, it's 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 been amazing. Never thought Star Wars, but it's been it's been amazing. Now, out of the four characters that you've played, what would be your favorite character? The the favorite character is Jawa because everybody likes Jawa. But the easiest is Binbot, which looks like a trash can. Because it's literally, I just throw that thing on top. That's the easiest one. Now, was it the heaviest or the lightest costume? Uh, it wasn't that heavy, believe it or not. Everything else, you know, we put a lot of different stuff on. And, like, gas masks, it's, it's, some of it's metal, like the eyes. Mm -hmm. And it's anatomic. So, I can never hear, I can't see. Because it's always drives me nuts. <laughs> Jawa, I feel like I'm going to go rob something, you know. It's have, like having a ski mask on. So, you know, like I said, Jawa is, is everybody fan number favorite, you know, the number one favorite. Yeah. So, I would say Jawa. Not the easiest to be in, but... The easiest. The, the easiest for, you know, the, the, the fan favorite. Now, if they were to ever ask you what character you would like to play in the Star Wars fandom, what would it be? Princess Leia. <laughs> would you do Who the buns? Would? Yeah, of course. Of course, I wish I could do the buns now. I just don't know how to do my hair. So I always slick it back and put it in one bun. <laughs> well, Susan, I want to thank you so much for being on here. And it was a pleasure meeting you guys. It's a pleasure. Guys, check her out on Instagram. As you can see on her shirt, her name is One, short, one short Bitch. bitch. You guys need to check her out and hopefully you will see her in more scenes on the Book of Boba Fett and The Mandalorian. Thanks, Susanna. Thank you. All right, guys. So this is a table I was talking about that had the craziest prints. I was so excited to pick up the Ahsoka and freaking Darth Vader. Cannot wait to take it home. Uh, we did stop by and said hi to our girls at 305 Comics. Um, they did have an abundance of sports cards, which are freaking popular now. They did have some classic comic books and some freaking signed Dragon Ball Z pops, which I know, guys. I'm getting into anime right now. Now, as we before we left, the we went and said hi to our boys at Magic City Comics, and they came with the Star Wars heat in comic books. I definitely want one of these Darth Maul comics. I'm probably going to negotiate something with them. But they did bring some awesome collectibles, and I cannot wait to see their next booth at their next show. 
definitely have to check them out. Some of these RoboCop figures were insane, but there they are, guys. Magic City Comics, definitely check them out. They do have an awesome podcast show. So what's going on, guys? I'm just leaving Super Fan Con. It was super awesome. Got to meet and see again a lot of people that I know in the toy community. Um, just received an awesome gift from NN Gallery, which I always appreciate them. Um, they have probably have the most beautiful, extensive comic book collection I've ever seen. Um, and they are just two hardworking guys that are just so awesome in this community. Um, I got to buy some freaking awesome prints um, and then just got to see some stuff that I really wanted to get, but you know, I had to hold off because Megacon is just right around the corner. But a little birdie did tell me that one of the targets by me actually had a helmet that I have been looking for. So I'm definitely gonna go check it out right now, crossing my fingers that it's true. And that will be the last of the toy hunt. But I do have to say that I'm very thankful to Super Fan Con. I got to meet Susanna Malik and she is by far my favorite Jawa in the Star Wars world. Um, I was actually kind of disappointed seeing in the last episode of The Mandalorian, um, or well, episode two, they didn't give her any credit whatsoever of being a Jawa. So I feel like she highly deserves it. She is freaking fantastic. Um, she made me laugh and I just didn't want to leave. I just wanted to be surrounded by her the whole entire time. So big credit to her. Um, the interview was just really awesome. Just asking her a couple questions. I know that she's still working with Lucasfilm. So I really didn't want to divulge into a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm heading now to Target. I'm crossing my fingers that what I'm looking for is there. And I'll be able to take an awesome photo with All right, guys, we're just getting to Target and it looks busy. Now we're waiting to see. And oh my God, Bo-Katan. Thank you. Thank you. This lady was awesome. I can't wait to go home and unbox this. So what's going on, guys? I'm just getting back home. Got in my little comfy gear. Um, as you guys can see, we went to Super Fan Con. We hit up Target. We were blessed by the Target gods. But I was super excited to grab this while we were at Super Fan Con. That's from Susanna Malik. She signed it for me. Um, super sweet. Um, I literally kept telling her that I wanted to just keep her forever. Um, I hate that she lives in California. I would have loved to have hung out with her the whole entire time. Um, I was freaking gifted by my really good friends at End to End Gallery and Dave, uh, Dave Silver Age Comics. Um, I've been completing this whole entire set now for like the past uh, year and a half. And I was actually missing Darth Vader and he gave it to me as a gift. So this was pretty dope to add to my comic book collection. I think uh, some of the vendors there were super amazing. I picked this one up from this guy. But yeah, I was super excited to pick up this print of Darth Vader. Look at this. It's so amazing. I can't wait to get it framed. I also picked up Ahsoka. Looks so beautiful. And this was the last print I picked up. So I thought they were super cool. Very shiny. Can't wait to add them around here. It's prints galore. Even though I said I was going to stop buying prints. And then lo and behold, the woman herself, Bo-Katan. Um, after Mando's last episode, there was no way I had, to, there, I had to pick this up. I had to add it here to my helmet collection. Probably gonna add them all here, finally all the helmets. Um, I've been checking out this one place um, where they make Bo-Katan armor and I've been debating if I wanna pick it up. But overall, I had such a good time at Super Fan Con. Got to meet a whole bunch of new people. Got to see old vendors that I know. And just got to meet a few subscribers on there. So I can't wait for Super Fan Con next year. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. Um, for everybody who's been asking me, soon, soon, I'm going to be doing the room tour. I just want to get it set up nicely where I'm able to talk about everything that I have in the collection and just be able to go to detail of everything that I own. I still have so much things to unbox and things that I want to sell off that don't want to, I don't want them here anymore. But I do have events coming up very soon. Uh, we are going to be working for Tate's 30 year anniversary. So if you're local, please come and check it out. It's going to be next weekend. Um, and then after that, at the end of March, we're going to be attending Megacon. 
Um, it's going to be quite interesting because it's going to be my boyfriend's first time ever going to a convention of that magnitude. Um, and I just know he's in for a rude awakening on how many people there are. Um, but again, guys, thank you so much. I know I haven't dropped a video in a while. I'm going to be dropping more videos soon. I've just been super busy with work um, and just trying to get this room all together to be able to just give you guys good videos. I want to be able to give you guys videos that you actually like and don't mind watching. Um, I'll do more toy hunts soon. Maybe this weekend I'll go toy hunting and possibly buy something that I caught my eye on. But thank you guys for tuning in and may the force be with you. I'll catch you guys next weekend.